Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up the Algo 8180 SIP alerter. Now, look on the screen, you've got the device. It's probably no bigger than a Shortel phone, an IP230. Um, it is a device that connects via IP and will help you to um, connect to your paging systems on traditional telephony deployments. So if we look at the front, you have an external speaker. Um, we also have on the back, you've got RJ45, it's a PoE, so it requires PoE to power it. You also have a speaker output and an audio output. And the speaker output and the audio output, the speaker output is actually for the Algo speakers you can purchase as well. Uh, and the audio output is what you would normally put to the um, uh, a paging amplifier. Okay. And the other thing that it has that's key is the relay output. The fact that it has a relay output on the bottom here is that this can allow you to connect to uh, paging systems, especially in zone paging systems, where you need a, a contact closure port. And if uh, what happens is this is a normally open contact and it will close upon paging or night bell or ringing. Now, one of the additional features is that you can configure to uh, even to have talk back. So these can be small paging speakers within an office um, that can audibly alert and also have two-way talk back as well. And the, nice, and the nicest piece about this is the fact that they are SIP. So therefore, when you configure them, they go on the short tail as a SIP extension and you can uh, configure them to twin on somebody's extension. So therefore, if you wanted... Uh, let's say you had a shipping warehouse that you wanted the night bell to ring at the same time that that person's phone rang. You could set this up and then you could twin that person's extension as their additional phone. So every time the call rang, it would also ring the night bell. Or if you just use traditional paging, you can just use the relay output to, to do the contact closure. So it'll close the port. And on some paging equipment like T um, Bogan, you know, once you close the relay, it will do the inherent ringing on that amplifier. So all I do is I take this out of the box, I set for DHCP, I plug the RJ45 into the network, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my internal network piece, and I know based on the MAC address that came off the box, that 148, this is the actual device that comes up. So I know that my IP address is 192.168.4.148. The other piece, if I show you the image again, is on the bottom here, you have some buttons, and one of these buttons, once you press, once it's powered up, can actually read off the DHCP address that it received if you do not have access or are trying to figure that out. So now that we have it set up to DHCP, I'm going to bring up my browser. Okay, and I'm going to go over to the IP address, and this is what you see. You see the Algo SIP Alerter audio panel. And what we're looking down here is we see the MAC address, which confirms, and we also see the IP address. Uh, there's the password to log in, and the password can be found up here if you don't change it. It's called password is Algo. Uh, and then down here is the status of the, the two SIP registrations. So this one device can have two SIP registrations. It can be a, a ringing registration or page. So I will go into here the password and type Algo. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is, on the Algo side, you need to configure the SIP information that you're going to register on the Shortel. So, saying that, let's go over to the Shortel and configure that first before we configure the Algo. Okay, so now that I've brought up my Shoreware Director, I'm going to go into the site that I want to set this up, and I'm going to create a new user. So, I'm going to call this one Paging. Paging extension 791, and because it hasn't registered with SIP, uh, you want to leave it as an extension in mailbox, uh, and therefore I can leave it at the site as an IP any phone. And the important piece is, is after I enter 791, which is the extension number, I go down to the bottom of the page here and I'm looking for the client username. This is the actual username that is going to register against the SIP client. So let's just call it, I'll call it uh, Algo Page. I'll go paging. And so once I set that up, then I go down to the SIP password. And the SIP password has to be six digits, between four and six digits, but on the short tail has to be six. So what I can do is I can just put in the extension number twice, or I can do six ones or six, you know, one through six. What I'll do is I'll do 791791. And I'll just take a look. Right, I'll go 791791, make sure it's valid. 
and then I'll save it. Now, since I'm already here, I'm just going to create the night bell, which will be 792. So I'm just going to hit one of the luxuries of short tells. I'm just going to hit copy. And I change this to night bell 792. I scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to change it. I'll call it algo night bell. And I'm going to change this password, zip password to 792792. And this one was 792.792. And then I will hit save. So I've got both extensions set up on the short tell. Now, because it's SIP registration, once the SIP registers with that username and password, it'll automatically associate and fill in its uh, SIP registration MAC address. So now I'm going to go over to the algo. Now, one of the things I need to know is when I set this up, do I have a SIP proxy enabled on my switch? And if so, what's the SIP proxy address? So we do in this case, so it's 192.168.4.10, which is the address of the SIP proxy. Um, I normally just fill in the registrar as well. Okay, and then I can go over here to the ring detection and page. So this is a little bit backwards from what we did, but I'm going to go in here and put uh, ring detection is 792. The auth ID is algo night bell. Password is 792.792. And when we go to the audio extension, we call it 791. And we'll call this algo page. I'll go paging. And this will be 791.791. Okay. So before I save that, I'm going to look down here. And you can see on this device, you have a couple settings speaker mode. If you wanted that algo to just come out of this speaker, like say it's in an office and not an overhead paging system, you would make sure that it's set to external. So it'll go with the external. If you wanted to go with those page ports, those connectors, which are the ones down here, audio output, you want to set this up to internal. Sorry, that's backwards. Internal will be the, the speaker and external will be the, the paging ports. So if you set it up to external, it's going to go out the audio output you've set up to internal, it's going to go out the speaker here, the internal resource. Uh, and also the relay mode, because there's a contact closure, you can set up the contact closure to uh, ring when both the night bell, the night ringing and the page is happening or just on either one or have it disabled. So I'm going to leave this on both for now. It doesn't matter. I'm going to hit save settings. And what it's going to do is it's going to save it. I'll go back to my status and you'll see down here on the bottom that ring extension 792 and 791 is currently successfully registered. I can go back to my short tell and bring the short tell up and go back into the individual users, go to the paging. Once this loads up, you'll notice that the SIP registration has already taken place and it's put it in the right site. So now, extension 791, if I call this, which I have it set up behind me, I can call 791. Test, test, test. And it'll page out, or I can call 792. And the night bell will ring. Now that we've set it up and we can see that we've successfully set up the ringing successful in the paging, I will call it and you should hear it in the background. So first we're going to do the page, which is 791. Testing one, two, three. So there's the paging. And now I'm going to call 792 to hear the ringing. And they're successfully set that up. So now you've got 791, 792 and be a ringing and paging extension. And that's it.